It's a man's world, right? Not so fast, Jimmy. Oh. Recent numbers show it's women who are leading the pack when it comes to home buying. And the trend may be continuing. Today on Delmarva Life, we take a look at the pluses and minuses of this recent shift in dynamics. Plus, if you're interested in making a home investment, but you're not quite sure where to start, the experts from Sussex County Association of Realtors are here to run down the musts of home buying. And if renting is more your speed, no problem. That is, as long as you're renting from a reputable person. We tell you about the latest ploy and how scammers are using social media to lure you in. Okay, it's not a scam, but it is a new trend causing some people worry. Cyber key locksmiths are hitting the internet, and while the process may seem convenient, it has some people thinking twice. And you've broken into my home. Broken into your home for a couple bucks. Right. Something else that is convenient, a mudroom. Coming up, Angie Hicks from Angie's List shows you how to make mudroom magic, whether you have one or not. Funny you should mention magic. We're going to go behind the scenes of The Young and the Restless and talk to fan favorites at Shamar Moore. And I'm giving you a behind the scenes look at oyster farming as I'm trying to become a true Dunmarvin. Check these out. They were farmed this morning. Mmm. The Marvel Life starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppel. Welcome to Delmarva Live from Historic Studio D. You know, Jimmy, I have to say, I don't even live in Delaware. I live in Maryland. Right. You live in Delaware. Yep. But I was keeping my eye on the Delaware primary There's yesterday because on, it yeah. was just, it, there were, you know, a couple races that interest me. Right, right. Bob Lee got the sheriff's mm -hmm. uh, chair. Um, uh, Vance Phillips is off the Sussex County. Yeah. There was a lot of stuff going on. If you want to find out all the details of where the votes went, who won, who did not. You can find all that at WBOC.com. Got all the election results there. Yeah, and speaking of yesterday, it was yesterday when we told you about two book signing events by Salisbury author Sheldon Larmore. One was scheduled for this Saturday at Pemberton Coffee House in Salisbury. Well, they had a scheduling conflict, so they had to cancel that one. The second one is still on. It's September 20th from 1 to 3 p.m. at the Wicomico Public Library. The book Be Quiet and Listen is about Sheldon's late son, David, and his faith-filled life with spina bifida. And, and that was, again, a fascinating story. Fascinating, so you sorry. need to go get that, and, and it's a terrific book. Also now through the end of October, you can see the entries in the Delmarva Needle Art Show and Competition. The Julia Purnell Museum, uh, Museum is na in Snow Hill hosts the competition every year. The popular exhibit contains needle art by regional artists, includes quilts, embroidery, knitting, crochet, and a bunch more. Museum is on Market Street in Snow Hill. It's open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 4, Sunday from 1 to 4. Admission, it's only a couple of bucks to get in for adults, children under 12, get in for free. And you know, I love needle art. I love all kinds of uh, quilts. I love oh, quilts. Yeah. And guess what? There's a Relay for Life team in Talbot County that's giving you an opportunity to get your hands on a beautiful handmade quilt. Take a look. That's Carol Prettyman of Longrim Quilting Services on the left and Jennifer Nagel holding the quilt. The winner will be announced Saturday at Easton High School during the Relay for Life event from noon to midnight. If you want some more information on how you can get your hands on that beautiful quilt, call this number 410-822-1400. It's just one of those hands-on things. That yeah. You're speaking of, have yeah. you ever done any stained glass work? I haven't, but I love stained would glass. Would you like to? I would. Get this. Here's a deal for you. The Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum is hosting a three-day stained glass mosaic workshop. It starts Friday. Now, Jen Wagner is going to be in the museum's boat shop showing you how you can make your own. Now, they'll provide the basic tools and the materials, uh, but there's only a few spaces available, so you've got to pre-register. Okay? The workshop is Friday 4 to 7, Saturday 9 to 4, 10 to noon on Sunday. There's the number to call so that you can pre-register. It's 410 745 4980. The three day workshop is only $150 for CBMM members, $200 for anybody else. That includes the finished mosaic wow. that you get to take home. How about that? Well, let's stick with the arts, shall we? All right. All right. Well, the Schwartz Center for the Arts in Dover is opening its season Saturday with Parrot Beach. There will be an evening cruise with Jimmy Buffett tunes and a Margaritaville reception afterwards. They're going to have food and drinks and the reception will be free for anyone who purchases a ticket to Parrot Beach's concert. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of that's, fun. That's going to be a good time for yeah. everybody. Um, you know, school has just started. I think everybody's back in school. I think right so, now, yeah. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you're still looking for kids' school clothes, maybe you're shopping in advance for the holidays. I don't know, whatever works out best for you. 
Coastal Kids Consignment is coming to the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center this weekend. Not only do they have clothes, they've got toys, they've got all kinds of things that will be handy for you. You'll find gently used merchandise for the kids as well as maternity. Also, donations are going to be distributed to Life Crisis of Salisbury, mm. the March of Dimes of Salisbury, the Eastern Shore Pregnancy Center of Salisbury, and several other churches and local shelters. So you'll find a whole bunch of neat things. The Coastal Kids Consignment is going to be Thursday 5 to 8, Friday 10 to 5, Saturday 9 to 2. Now on Friday afternoon, it's going to be 25% off. Okay. Saturday, everything is 50% off. Wow. Okay. Cost you nothing to get in. Free admission all day long. And the thing about maternity wear, uh, if you've ever had a baby, is you don't wear it that long. So it's probably in good condition. Good so consignment is the way to go. All right, we haven't had one in what, a week, it's maybe been a two? While. A geek moment. Feeling a need for a geek boop, moment. Boop. <laughs> we need something. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. Um, you know the whole self awareness thing that people are talking about, computers who seem to be gaining a mind of their own. Oh, because yeah, they, artificial they call intelligence. It, the artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. They call it becoming self aware. Here's the deal. They're saying the International Space Station may have become self-aware and doing its own things on its own. Take a look at this. The ISS has a cannon that launches tiny CubeSat microsatellites uh, into orbit to take detailed, detailed real-time images of the Earth. You can see uh -huh. that one coming out of there right there. These launches are triggered by human scientists on board or back on Earth, but this week the ISS launched two CubeSats entirely on its own. ISS Commander Steve Swanson noticed the doors of the CubeSat launcher were open. Uh oh. So he let Mission Control in Houston know about it. They confirmed that two CubeSats had been inadvertently released. Two other CubeSats unintentionally released last month, just a couple of weeks ago. That means of the 12 CubeSats launched into orbit so far, a third of them went out on their own without permission. And they call it unintentional. Right. It was somebody's intent Something's or some things. going on there. Mm -hmm. So if you have ever, <clears throat> excuse me, enjoyed the waters of Florida, you know that they are so clear. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see things from a long ways away. For instance, uh, these two guys. Hey, shark. And the shark. See that? Shark get on it. See, these guys are yelling oh. at them to, to get, the, they don't see the shark. They don't realize it's out there chasing a stingray. They're trying to get them out of the water. They don't believe them until that. And Suddenly there's a splash. Hey, let's get out of the water. They thought they were just crying wolf. Isn't that, in <laughs> man. Oh. Yeah, you say that too many times and people aren't going to pay attention. Yeah. Well, that's a scary That's what thing. you call hightailing it out of there. Yes. <laughs> well, still ahead on Delmarva Life, we're all about the home today, starting with home buying. You know, purchasing a home is a lot different these days, especially when it comes to who's buying. We'll show you why there's a surge in single women buying homes. Now, if you are buying a home, there's a lot of support out there for you from the beginning of the process to the end. We're going to find out where you can find all the help you'll need all under one roof. If renting a home is better for your lifestyle, you'll want to stay on your toes. There are scammers out there who are trying to take advantage of you. We'll hear about one of them that advertises the home you're living in as available for rent. Hmm. Now, no matter if you rent or buy, there is yet another concern. All it takes is a camera and a few bucks for somebody to gain easy access into your home. We're going to show you how the technology works and why your home may only be the start. It's some scary stuff. And we're also talking today about how you can make the most of the space in your home, particularly the mudroom. Find out how this area can not only make your life easier, but save you money on bills. You heard me right. <laughs> Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, Honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 